Hey girl, hey. So, um, this video is going to be a haul video, and I know I just did a haul video a couple of videos back, but I told you guys in that video that I was going to be doing more shopping soon, and today is that day, and I was supposed to go spring clothing shopping, but I really failed, like, badly, so, um, I'm still going to do a haul, though, but, like, I really didn't get very many clothes, but I just kind of realized that I'll just get most of my spring clothes at IMATS, well, not at the IMATS show, because it's about makeup, but, when I go to New York, I know I'm going to be doing a lot of shopping there, so I figure I'll just wait till then anyway. Okay, so the first place I went was Bath and Body Works, and they had this thing going on, um, market, Bath and Body Works market, I don't even know. Um, if you got home supplies or something, you bought this free tote bag, and you got a free hand soap, so I'll show you guys that. And this tote bag is originally $5, but it's kind of like one of these cheap reusable kind of bags. First is I bought one of these like little hand sanitizer holder things because the one on my bag that I'm using right now is like really ripped because I've used it a lot. So I just got this one and it's just kind of pink, white, and yellow. I thought it was cute and very springy. And these are really nice because they're cheap. They're, oh, was, this was only 50 cents. I thought they were 150. And next I stocked up on wallflowers because I'm obsessed with wallflowers and I always have them plugged in. And my favorite is the frosted cupcakes. So I got three of them. Um, a little bit excessive, but whatever. I don't go to Bath and Body Works that often. So I thought this would be good supply for now. How much are these? Six fifty. dollars got a new hand sanitizer too because I saw this and I smelled it and it smelled really good. But I didn't go crazy with hand sanitizer because I know I already have a lot that... I don't use so I just got one because it's not really good and this is frosting it's called I love cake and it's cute it's like blue then I got a antibacterial gentle foaming hand soap and this is in the new spring um, scent of paradise coconut and this smells really really good it smells like fruity but it has that like nice kind of vanilla coconut smell I really like it. It's really fresh smelling. And then when I was at checkout, apparently part of this whole if you buy a home fragrance thing, which is the wallflowers here, um, I also got a free hand soap. So well, I got two hand soaps. So it's also the gentle foaming antibacterial, but this is in fresh picked raspberries. I actually haven't smelled this one, but I really like the smell of raspberry. So hopefully it'll smell good. Mm. Kind of strong, but it's nice-ish is everything from Buff and Bulgy Works. Then I went to Lush and I'm not a big Lush person. The only person I've ever, the only thing I've ever tried from there is the bubblegum lip scrub, but I, which I love. But I decided to try these things because I'll just explain it. Okay, so the first thing is the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. And I got this, it's the little one because my friend Lindsay, um, she talks about how she really likes this. And I've just heard a couple different people say that and it looks like this, like it even looks fun, it's like bright blue, it has ocean salt, and it smells good, and I love anything like exfoliating. I honestly think the best part of Lush is looking to see who made your product, so this girl's got some great hair going on. That was $20. Oh, I did not know it was that expensive. I don't know if this is the right one. I don't know. I thought this is what Miss Glamorazzi talked about in her Lush Favorites video, but I could be wrong. Um... I don't know, but anyway, this is the American Dream Conditioner, American Cream Conditioner, and it's a honey water conditioner with fresh strawberries and oranges to calm static flyaway hair, soften brittle ends, shampoo, apply, and rinse thoroughly for shiny vanilla cream scented locks. So that description sounded good to me. Oh, it has a little seal on it. What do you know? And it, I think it smells really good. So um, I don't, I'm always on the lookout for good conditioners, so I think this will be good. And this was $10. Oh, sorry, I almost forgot. This guy, he's pretty cool. He's got like the hat going on and he looks pretty dang happy to be on this Lush bottle. I went to For Love 21, which is like the jewelry store, accessory store branch of Forever 21. Um, but it's like in a Forever 21 bag because it's basically like the same stuff they have in Forever 21. Um, but the first thing I got is really, really cute. I really like this. This is just like this blue and gold braided bracelet and I love to wear little bracelets so I thought this would be a good addition and it's like stretchy and it has gold little things hanging off it so I thought it was really cute and this was $3.80. I bought this hot pink skinny belt because I was on the lookout for this because um, the outfit that I have in mind for iMats includes this um, because it matches my mini mac bag from Rebecca Minkoff. So I don't have a skinny belt though that's hot pink so I found this and I was like perfect. 
So yeah, I'm really excited. And it's just a skinny hot pink belt. And it'll tie in my bag and it'll be awesome. And this is 150. That's a really good deal, man. Okay, and then after that I went to Forever 21, which is like the actual clothing store. And this, I only got a few shirts. Um, I know, I really was lame about shopping today, but whatever. Oh, actually, I forgot about this. I bought a necklace here. And the salon is just a long gold chain with a pretty little gold heart. I don't really have any gold long necklaces, I don't think, so now I do. I got a lot of like graphic kind of tea tops, but whatever. This one I thought was really, really cool. It's like this light tan color, and it has like these cool rainbow multicolored, um, I don't know, like tribal-esque triangle sh patterns all over it. And it's kind of... I think it's like a crop top almost. It's not really though. It's like just kind of not that long. Stretchy and I think it'll be really comfy and fun for spring because it's colorful. Where is the tag? $13.80 was this. I got this kind of like crochet lacy kind of detail creamy colored tank top and I thought this was super duper cute and springy. I think this would be fun over like a bright color tank top or something and it like zips in the back. And this was $13.80 as well. Okay, and then this top I thought was really cute and it'd be fun with like some shorts or something. And it's just this long white t-shirt with like big chunky stripes of like this pretty pooled side kind of blue color. And it kind of reminds me of something I've seen at H&M maybe? I don't know. But I thought this was super cute. And this was only $9.80. Holla. And the last top I got, I know I really didn't get that much, um, this is really cute. It's like this three quarter, well maybe like half sleeve, um, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like nautical mixed with lace. It's like lacy and it has navy pinstripes all over it, so I thought this was fun. It's kind of a bit thicker than like a normal t-shirt, but it's like sheer at the same time. I don't know, it's really weird, but definitely wear like a tank top under it, but it's just really cute for the spring too. Kind of see like the laciness of it. And the last stop um, is probably the most exciting for me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, let me show you, okay. Hot topic, I know what you're thinking, but just wait. Hunger Games, I am so stoked. Oh my god, I got Hunger Games stuff from Hot Topic. I have a problem, you guys. This t-shirt might just be the most beautiful investment of a t-shirt I've ever gotten. It has Josh Hutcherson's face on it, and it says PETA. This is the best thing of my life. He's so beautiful. So I'm definitely gonna wear this to the midnight premiere and this is like my favorite thing I bought today. So <laughs> I have a problem. I love the Hunger Games. And this was $22.50, which I know seems kind of pricey, but I'm not complaining because it has Josh Hutcherson on it. I got two of the China Glaze Colors from the Capital collection, the Hunger Games Nail Polish collection, which they had there. They didn't have very many. I think they had three and I got two of the three. And this one, I think these are both like really unique colors. And I'm gonna wear them to the midnight premiere probably because I am such a Hunger Games freaking nerd. This one is Electrify and it's just so cool. It has like tons of different red and gold glitter in it making this really cool effect. It looks orange from far away but it's just a bunch of different red and gold. Um, I'm pretty sure this represents District 3. This one is Lux and Lush. It is so cool. Just look at it. It has like all these different like shattery rainbow reflecting things. I don't know. It's really, really cool though and unique. And I can't wait to try this out. And yeah. And this one I'm pretty sure represents District 1. Yay! Hunger Games nail polish. Josh Hutcherson t-shirt. I'm a happy nerd. So that's everything I bought today. I know I plan to buy a lot more, which is probably a good thing that I didn't, but I'll be buying a lot in New York probably. So gotta save that money. Okay. So I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!